Hello YouTube, welcome and all and welcome back to Heart of Iron 4, the Great War Mod Redux. Uh I probably built too many battleships. I'm sure that's not gonna help. That 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 won't have a negative effect on my economy, I'm sure of it. But anyway, we are waiting for the uh big smackdown to occur. I don't think, yeah, I can't go to extensive construction because we've got to be at war. Current ruling party is proto fascist or socialist. We are neither, I don't think. No aligned, no elections. Mexico has capitulated! The Mexican government has gone into exile and the main forces have capitulated. It is now in control. The struggles between the Mexican Federation and Mexico will continue. Well done. We are now all at peace. I'm sure nothing will happen at any point in the next, in the foreseeable future. By the way, hi Germany. I saw that sneaky little German. I saw that. Passive defense. Okay. We do need this. Insufficient resources, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's get our spying stuff sorted. Uh, what I want you to do is build an intel network here, please, and thank you. Uh Chief Navy We'll get you because we probably will eventually have some fights with the Austrians. Maybe. Possibly. Dunno. Anywho. Company 2 done. Uh, we are in 1914. I would all. God, I need all the things. Give me that. Not enough equipment to train. <laughs> Those guys are training. Training has been holding. For some reason. Anywho. Passive defense is done. Uh, oh, lovely. Thank you. Uh, that's 1916. Tank prototype design. Yeah, where the frig is that? Get that because we need that. <laughs> that probably actually would help with our shots. <laughs> with our fleets. Oh, there's another decision available. Good for you. I don't think we yeah, we're not part of the Entente or anything, so we can't find out. We're in April 1914. We're closing in on um patronism. March past the Alps, please. Yeah, the Austrians are up to something. Because they're not where. They're not doing the usual thing of, hmm, there's an army on our border. I should put my army there. 
they're not doing that. They, see, French, the French are like, hmm, I've got nothing planned. So, the, the, the Italian army is here. We'll just go and, you know, look at the Italian army as they look at the French army. Maybe sit down and have a cup of tea. I can't remember how many, how, excuse man, Ooh. yeah, punish the natives. <laughs> yeah, we really need to get our production sorted. I mean, we're stockpiling towed artillery now. Which is nice. What's the one that gives me an extra spy? There's one that gives me another spy. Where is it? Not intelligence. Put my cameras, my explosive poison, psychological warfare. No available. Sh Where is it? That's recruitment choices, interrogation, diplomatic, psychological welfare. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Uh, bombing. Oh, the Mexican Convention declared war on the Mexican Federation. Artillery attack, division attrition. Artillery attack, division recovery rate. Let's get you. Because I think artillery is pretty important. So, yeah, okay. So. What are you? Socialists? Yeah. <laughs> So, that's a thing in Mexico. Mexico's still having its fun and games. Motorized infantry. It's done. Uh, we're in 1914, aren't we? Yeah, so get me... F oh, here we go. Treaties is a base strike. Fleeting, you know what? That. Franz Ferdinand assassination. Franz Ferdinand, the esteemed Archduke of Austria, Est, uh, Austria Hungary, and Crown Prince of the Austro Hungarian Empire, lies dead. His noble wife rests beside him. Franz Josef has lost another heir, and to, the, and to the damned vile sons and bastards that are the Serbians. The Serbian government officially denies involvement with the assassination, Gravelo, with the assassin, Gravelo Princip, blaming the Black Hand. A few believe a lack of a government involvement. Sometime after it became known who organised the attack, spontaneous riots against the Serbian population began in Sarajevo. The conflict between the Kingdom of Serbia and Austria-Hungary has reached boiling point. And so begins the... Um, was it the June crisis? Or the July crisis? European crisis. Franz Ferdinand, the esteemed Archduke and Crown Prince. If the European alliances do not resolve the outcome of the crisis diplomatically in the coming weeks, then the peace will be broken. God help us. Mobilization throughout Europe. 
All major European countries, as well as most minor ones, have ordered full-fledged military mobilization. The last chance for peace has passed, with the exception of the powder keg. With the explosion of the powder keg. Pray for survival. 23 days. To complete one of the kingdoms of the oh, so can get it out. I can't remember how to get more. I can't remember how to get bigger, more operatives to work for me. Make sure you get more than one. You get at least two. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure you can get three because there's certain... Um, There's certain missions. There's some archaeology. Man, occupied fifty territories. March past the Alp is done. <laughs> right, we're not going to do that yet because that that doesn't happen right now. That's just a bonus to naval doctrine. That's just getting naval. That would probably end. You know what? Give me that. Because we do need to start working on our military. days for the European crisis. U.S. Declaration of Neutrality. When the war began, the United States proclaimed the policy of strict neutral neutrality in thought and deed, as Pedro President Woodrow Wilson put it. His goal was to broker a peace, and he sent his top aide, Colonel House, on repeated missions to the belligerents. But they were so confident of the victory that the peace was ignored. War cannot be avoided. The United States sends notes of protest. In strong words, the American ruler denounced our recent intolerable acts. I'm sorry, pardon what? We're just sitting back watching this. Yo, Woodrow. 
Wilson, Mr. President Wilson, I'm sorry, but like, we're the Italians. We we are part of the yes, we are part of the Anta the um, Central Alliance. We are looking at Austria, going just oh, just don't do don't just just like don't don't do it. Look, don't just come on, Ch chill. Like none of you liked him. <laughs> none of your court liked Franz Ferdinand. General Hotzendorf over there is blooming who's who's biting at the bit for this war, hating him more than anyone else. <laughs> like, they You're gonna go to war over this? Seriously? Really? Gain diplomatic pro protest. And of course we're looking at the Germans like, hey, you gonna you gonna stop them? No? I mean when <laughs> Fine. We're pe <laughs> we're no. <laughs> we'll we'll consider it. We'll consider joining. We'll consider joining. We'll consider, you know, taking part, maybe. I mean, what's in it for us? Why should we help Austria take over more area of the Balkans? I mean, you know, we've got interest here. I mean, you know, we'd like this area. We want, you know, we think this area is ours. We have a claim on it. The Austrians won't give it to us. Why would they not do that? Serbia refused Austrian demands. Serbia refusal of the Austrian demands led to a declaration of war, which will no doubt be followed by countless others. Here begins the downward spiral into world war. Dear God, what have we done? Um, what actually happened is the Austrians gave, I think it's ten, maybe more, uh, demands. And they, it was one of those, you know, one of those things where people demand something knowing they're going to be rejected. It's like one of those... Those things, like, they put in so much stuff of, like, degrading and, like, just just basically saying, we dare, you know, we know you're going to reject this. And the Serbians bit went, well, we kind of can't fight the Austrians. It's a bit of a stupid thing, you know, uh, to just flat out throw this in back in their faces. So what we're going to do is we're going to accept all of them except for the one thing that we really can't because it would basically mean our independence is fucked. Um, which I think was the allowance of Austrian law enforcement to, to take part in Serbian ju the Ser Serbian justice system. But you know, if you just say that out, it's like, yeah, no one accepts that. So that was the only thing they didn't accept. <laughs> and then the whole world went, hmm, Serbia being kind of kind of jealous. I mean, you know, half of us would have just thrown it back in the Austrians' face and going, ha, that's stupid. But no, they're being quite magnanimous. Is that the word for it? Anyway, it wasn't enough. The Austrians still declared war. Because that's what the Austrians wanted. The Austrian Hungarian Empire declared war on Montenegro. And Serbia. Montenegro joined the Entente. And now. We are at war. The king of Serbia joined France. We are now at war. And just to top this all off, Jean Jaurès of France was assassinated in the Parisian Café Le Croissant. One, I don't know why I said it like that, but anyway, 146 Rue Montmer Montmartre. The aptly named Raoul Villain, a 29-year-old French nationalist, uh, was the uh, assassin. Juarez was scheduled to appear at one of the international's conferences to deliver a protest against the seemingly impending war. And with his death, the last major social obstacle to French involvement in the coming fight has passed. Tough luck for you. Yeah. There's so many French. Oh, jingoism and nationalism. Ah! So, oh, here we go. Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, Belgium, Germany, Germany declared war. Germany declared war on Belgium. There's a naval invasion. I'm sorry. Pardon? Okay, time to decrypt some ciphers. Most importantly, Austria. Um. Yeah, 
I don't want... Yeah, the French have... There we go. Right, okay. Outdated equipment is being produced. We're going to throw you into there. Uh, that's 1915. Do you want the next line doctor in? It gives us defense, I suppose. Uh, we could get next submarine. We could get great battleship hull. Uh, death charges. No, we in, we're in 1914. We need to get our production and science and all that sort of stuff. Okay, first things first. We're going to edit you. I'm going to do that. You're still going to do that. And that's going to be all hunky dory. You! I'm going to delete that front line. And we're going to do this front line. And you're going to do a general advanced. Come on. Oh, is it because... No, that's because we're not at war yet, so... Yeah, do that. Let's go! Probably. We can get another army now. Yeah, you're gonna take absolutely forever to restock and resupply. That's fine. Got a lot of total artillery, which is lovely. Opening of the Panama Canal. While Europe is blowing itself to submarines, the United States opened the Panama Canal. After years of construction, the Panama Canal opened today, establishing a more direct connection from Atlantic to Pacific, which will no doubt be a boon to the trade in the region, as well as make the area an important strategic location. American engineers have stunned the world with this amazing feat, with, except, with the exceptions, of course, of the British and Germans, who both insist that their canals are better. It is an amazing construction. Us in Italy, we don't need we don't need a canal. I mean, technically, you know, one here would have been maybe nice, but it's fine. Anyway, go for a little bit longer. Oh, hello. Hello. We need a new army. With a new general. We may, may do some uh, naval shenanigans with you. Definitely some naval shenanigans with you. Oh, the Fallen of Brussels. Well, wow, that was quick. German troops easily break through the defense of the Belgian army and invade Brussels. What the f- Wait, hang on. Hold, hold the phone. German-Canadian war. I'm sorry, pardon, what? Oh, this is- this is terrible. Luxembourg is capitulated. Like, there's no troops here. Oh, there are troops here. I don't know whether or not they can stop them. That was quick. Like, ridiculously quick. Austrians are having a lot more tougher time going here. I do wonder... Okay, first things first. You are going to do... Naval stuff. That's what you're going to do. Oh, 
Well. Lil's fallen. Yeah, we may have to get involved very, very quickly. Insufficient resources. Still only that. Okay. Okay, we're going to do this. Messages from fans change the guys of guarantee independence. Like yeah, the Germans have just <laughs> ruffle stomped straight through Belgium. Which is what the Schlieffen plan was really wanting them wanting them to do. The French just need the need the um Oh shit, really? Austrians are gonna come back here? Why aren't you fighting over here? God damn it, I don't think I'm going to do much here. <laughs> this may go horribly, horribly wrong. Supply up. Uh, it's control shift it to put you with the highest priority. 8th of November. King Call the first of dead. The ruler of King Call of Romania is up to quick development. Of See, during his reign, Karl I personally led Romanian troops during the Russia Turkish War and assumed command of the Russia Romanian army during the siege of Levna. The country achieved international recognition, recognized independence via the Treaty of Berlin in 1878. Long live King Ferdinand. Ooh! Marines! That's the kind of dudes I want! Battle of Columbra, Kingdom of Serbia did the impossible. A small but proud kingdom in the Balkans managed to stop the Austrian Goliath and force him to delay the Belgrade offensive. More than a hundred thousand soldiers died on the Kul Kulubra River, which now raises serious doubts. Can the Austrian army in the Balkans fight the Kingdom of Serbia again? Only a miracle of the intervention of the third force may change the balance of power in the ba Balkans. The enemies have proven they are equal. So, the Austrians are getting their asses kicked, Belgium's just been stomped out of existence, and the Germans are closing in on Paris. I really do hope I have enough troops. I'm... Yeah, the Austrians have to... I... I do wonder if the AI is slanted towards the, like, put... Forcing more units to face the human players and not the AI. I do wonder that. We're about to find out, aren't we? So, one to two artillery, one to two. What's your soft attack? Not that much. I'm getting kind of worried. Getting kind of worried. Getting kind of worried. But anyway, thank you everyone for watching these videos. I will see you all in the next ones. Until then, toodles.